Hello, I'm Gina. I'm currently living in South Korea. I currently work as a taxidermist at Seoul Zoo. There are a few taxidermists in East Asia, such as Korea, Japan, China, and Taiwan. But not so many. I think it's because hunting is not very popular in Asia as much as in other countries. There are about 10 taxidermists in South Korea. Most of them are working at natural history museums. But I'm the only one who works for a zoo, not a museum. As you can imagine, working at a zoo as a taxidermist is not very common. At first, I think I have to talk about the purpose of making animal specimens in the zoo. If the captive animals die because of natural causes, we never kill animals for taxidermy. We make specimens with them on three main purposes. Exhibition, education, and research. Number one, exhibition. We exhibit specimens and give people the opportunities to study carefully about animals, especially the endangered species. There's a saying, out of sight, out of mind. By exhibiting and showing animals to people, we hope that they can learn the need to protect endangered species. So, I think exhibiting specimens can contribute to biodiversity and wildlife conservation. Number 2. Education It's hard to see the animals in the wild. But if there are specimens, people can take a closer look at the animals as long as they want. Specimens are good instructional materials. For example, I prepare small skin specimens for children to touch, since they cannot touch these animals in real life. And skeletal specimens can be used as reference for anatomical studies to veterinary students. Number 3. Research Specimens are the records of nature. Accumulated specimens over the years can make research data, which is priceless. For instance, sometime in the future, if an animal gets extinct and people cannot see them anymore, the specimen can be crucial. I think the value of specimens will get more and more important in the future as science advances. And I believe the renaissance of specimens will come.